Hey everyone, BlizzardKB here. Now I've talked about this cube quite a bit in some previous videos. This is an Edison 3x3 and I mentioned in that video that this is my favorite 3x3 design that's out there on the market today. Just really smooth movement, really good feel. It feels solid unlike some of the do-it-yourself cubes or DIY cubes, but yet it doesn't overturn on you. Pretty much I, I consider this one the perfect cube. Well, this cube now has some real competition because there's a new cube on the market and it is the Dayan Guhang 3x3 cube. Now this is a lighter cube than this cube over here. As far as size goes, it's about, it's, it's about the same size. You see a little bit more of a gap in between these sides and I'll show you why in a minute. But this cube it's absolutely amazing. It has corner cutting like you wouldn't believe. This cube can cut corners. This cube actually does a really good job of alignment so you don't really have to worry too much about cutting cubes. But if you turn it out this way you can cut. But if you try and do a reverse cut and you try and press down, you see how this doesn't move? It moved there, but it kind of moved back into position. But if you move it out this far, it's really not going to move any. It doesn't do any reverse cutting. Now this cube over here, you can cut really easily, no problem. I can take it pretty far out and still cut, but reverse cutting, it can, it can reverse cut as well. You can't take it out too far, but you want to reverse cut, you can reverse cut on this cube as well. So you can cut either way. And as far as the turning, I would consider the turning just as good. It doesn't have the same kind of lock feel mechanism to an Edison, but it has the lightness of, of a regular do-it-yourself cube. But it still feels a little bit more solid than the average do-it-yourself cube and it has the reverse cutting as well. The real difference though comes in the center. Let me open it up and show you the mechanism. Turn to 45 degrees and I'm pulling out this center cube. But check out this, this uh, shape on this edge cube here. This is not normal shape of an edge cube. I'll rotate it so you can see and I'll get a little bit closer to the camera as well. But it's a significantly different shape than you would normally see on these cubes here. But the real strangeness comes when you look at one of these edge cubes. I mean one of these corner cubes. As it can be a significantly different shape than normal. And you can see this piece in the center that's rotating as a triangular shape. And it's that triangular shape that allows you to get that corner cutting and reverse corner cutting at the same time. And it's also part of what causes that gapping that you see around the center cube, that extra gapping. So let me push this back in, get that edge cube back into position. Really an extraordinary cube. There, there is only one problem that I have with it, let me open it up again, which is that to make these pieces light, if you see this line along here, this is actually a Dewey, this is actually one that I assembled myself, and there is one small, tiny plastic piece on these, on these corner cubes that is holding all of this together. Inside this cube, there is a tiny plastic piece that's holding everything together. And if that plastic piece falls apart, then this entire cube would fall apart. And I don't like that reliance on that tiny little plastic piece on the inside. I, I'm not a big fan of that. So I don't know how long this cube is going to last, but let me tell you. Use it for as long as it lasts because this is really, really incredible stuff. And again, that reverse cutting, it can, it can reverse cut as well. See how far I can take it. Well, it didn't quite make that. 
So I'm, I was pushing my luck there a little bit. I was really testing the tolerance of the cube. But as you can see, it actually was able, to, I pushed it pretty far, and it was still able to, to finally turn. And you see those extra gaps in the center as well. In case, I am Blizzard KB, and this is a Diane Guhong 3x3 cube that can reverse cut.